Ana Sešli Kapić, žena koja je napustila Ameriku i predstavila se u Republiku Srpsku u Ljubavi. U tas ideji iz Ešli Kapić, a woman who left America and moved to Republika Srpska for love. Ashley, welcome and thank you for taking time for, for us. Thanks for having me. Uh, when and how did you decide to move here? And what factor played a significant role in that decision? Well, after COVID, um, America was, you know, we were just tired of living there and we were down for an adventure. So we came to Bosnia and Herzegovina, although my husband is from Sazi. But the town was a little too small, and we decided Banja Luka would be the best fit for our family. Uh, do you have any family members here? My, my husband has some family in Sazin, but no one here, so we're doing it by ourselves. <laughs> uh, can you share your first impression of Banja Luka? I loved it. It's great. It's beautiful, uh, and, but it was snow when I arrived, so it was just magical. <laughs> uh, how did you feel about the surrounding? I liked it. I had no complaints. I was just happy to be out of America. <laughs> uh, when did you move here? Two years ago. Two years ago. Yes. Uh, how have you uh, enjoyed your life here? Have you found uh, it easy to adopt a new environment? Yeah, I've, I'm pretty good with the flow, so it's been pretty easy. I've made lots of friends. It's no issues. <laughs> Uh, what aspects for life here do you find most appealing? Honestly, time. People have lots of time to hang out and have coffee whenever. It's, it's so great because in America you have to schedule months in advance to hang out with your friends. <laughs> so I love that here. Um, is there a local dish or cuisine that, you, uh, <laughs> that has become your favorite? Borek. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. Chivapi? Chivapi is good too. <laughs> okay. Um, and how do you perceive music scene? I Belgium? love Balkan music, so I'm, I love it so much. Um, I mostly like like the kafada music, the old stuff, and then I like like the new club music that they play like in the clubs here. I'm not a fan of like ex Hugo rock or anything, but poppy stuff, yes. Do you have any favorite artist? I don't think I know their names well enough. I just know if a song is on and I like it. <laughs> um, uh, what are your thoughts on the people here? I, I love the people here. Everyone's been very friendly. Yes. I yes. have friends here. Yes, I, I have a lot of friends here and it's been great. <laughs> uh, and uh, what are the biggest differences you notice between life in America and here? I think again we go back to the time issue and the way people live their lives is more laid back here. Mm -hmm. um, I think other than that, that's really the only difference that I notice. Okay. Uh, did you experience any culture shock after moving? Let's see. I didn't realize how difficult getting a visa was. <laughs> All the paperwork, it's just so much paperwork. I'm tired of it. That's it, culture shock wise. <laughs> okay. Uh, and how did your family react to your, to your decision? They were actually really supportive. They've always known that I wanted to live abroad someday, so they were happy for me. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yes. And they should be visiting this summer. I'm really excited. Uh, are there any American traditions uh, that you miss most? Yes, I miss Halloween a lot. It's just so cute. We have kids, so it's cute to see the kids dress up and go knock on doors and get candy. It's just something I really miss. How old are the kids? Um, six and three. They're both girls. Uh, <laughs> and uh, how, what are their names? Um, my six-year-old is Selena, and my three-year-old is Petra. Uh, how do you handle the language challenges in uh, your new environment? Well, luckily, if I need something, my husband speaks the language, but if I'm on my own, I can get by in a restaurant or a cafe or a store, but like a serious conversation, I just zone out. <laughs> it's a very difficult language. The grammar structure is intense. <laughs> uh, did you learn any of our 
Yes, I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm learning a little. <laughs> but I really, I mostly live in a bubble. Most of my friends speak English, so I probably don't get the chance to practice as much as other people. Mm -hmm. okay. um, do you have any favorite part of the city? So far, so far, <clears throat> Krupa Navarbasu is so beautiful. We like to take the kids there to just enjoy nature. It's really close by too. Yes, it's like beautiful. It. Love it. Uh, do you have any advice for people considering a similar step in law and relocation? Yeah, do it. Life is short. Do it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have anything uh, that you would like to add? And to tell us um, some uh, special story or memory here. Um, the only thing interesting right now is I'm opening up a business, which is more paperwork. <laughs> um, I'm starting a reformer Pilates studio in Bujak. Um, they already have some in the center, but parking is so difficult for a lot of people. I think a little further out and with parking, people would be much happier to take their cars there. <laughs> Um, once again, thank you for being our guest. It was a pleasure talking to you. It was nice to be here. <laughs> thank you.